Last time on Game Grumps. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this <laughs> diner. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Any other questions? Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. All right. Percent sign ampersand dollar sign. And semicolon, too! <laughs> what are you f doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. <laughs> Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f- Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Forgot all about that. Hello, and welcome back to Long Series Sunday. Sam and Max, part two. <laughs> I, I know, you're still giggling. <laughs> it's just... It's just, it's just it's funny. <laughs> We've got a game to save. Yeah. Uh, let's do a new save, Aaron. What would you like to name it? Um, We're going to Gator Golf, if that helps. Uh, Gator Golf, give it a whack. Gator Golf, he'll throw it right back. Gator Golf, what could be greater than playing a game? with Golf with the Gator? What? Give it a whack. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Gator Golf, he'll throw it right back. <laughs> <sighs> God, man, I have a lot. I don't have. Uh, Gator golf. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. To Florida. What is the road? Okay. Wow, this is great. I love it. This is greater. <laughs> that looks like a penis. This would look great in our office. Oh, I forgot we're doing the voices. Yeah, man. Sam and Max, baby. We have in real time. We haven't played this in forty-five minutes. Ooh, we had in lunch. your time. It's been like a week. Oh, yeah. Dunk the beast. Huh? It's closed. Oh, what's this? If you gotta grab it. You gotta combine it with something uh, weird. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. All oh right. yeah, it does. He just said. Well, yeah. did he say it was pasta? Huh? Oh, see the I last got thing it. that looked like snakes looked like pasta. Oh yeah, yeah. Ew. What? This fucking guy keeps spitting out his chewy tobacco. Well, that's Florida. His dip. So He's true. repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off him. Whoops. All right, let's chat with him. <laughs> it's Max. <laughs> you better be Florida, man. Not that I care, but what made you think of putting alligators in golf together? I didn't. <laughs> The fact is, this place is the Bay Mansion Golf Course. Then back in 1989, the swamp flooded, flooded the hole. Next <laughs> thing I knew, I had a half submerged miniature golf course clone with 10 foot long alligators. I hate it when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the course into a driving range. Oh. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end uh clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Yes. Take a look. <laughs> Did you see the way his arm rippled? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoots? Don't get me started by Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered, and how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Hmm. Protective ankle wear? This is okay, shackles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Great point. All right, so just to remind you all, in 10 seconds, this is Sam, the dog, Max, the homicidal rabbit Hello. thing. We are, uh, we are freelance police. We're on the case to try to find a missing Bigfoot and his girlfriend Tracy, the long-necked giraffe girl from Scranton. And uh, they've run off together, we found out. Yeah. Uh, they're in love. They, they weren't kidnapped. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to find them. But we're, we're seeing that there's more to it than meets the eye. Oh. But in the meantime, we're going to these seemingly unrelated places. Is there some kind of plot going on? Oh, somehow? yeah. Max, oh. let's go. Okay, sorry. It'll all come together. Shit. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot. That's what he said, Mr. Bompus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think these vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. 
<sighs> My favorite Pokemon. <laughs> hey, look at it. It's those two, um, what was the word, Sam? Misanthropes. Yeah, misanthropes. What are you anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Corway's bumper. He suggests you show him some fucking respect. Damn it. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, a little furball. I don't even know what accent I'm doing. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. It's like JFK meets... Oh, yeah, yeah. Half British. Half Australian. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, dang, we got- it's a dust ball fight. Hold still, you flea bitten pool cat. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know, we- Here you go, boss. We lose almost every fight we take part in. Woo! They didn't want to show violence on camera. Oh, of course not. Uh, looks like we dunked the beast. What a jerk. Hitch a nice five iron, though. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me! <laughs> okay. So do we have to dunk him now? No. It's Max. <laughs> <laughs> yup. So what we need to do... Nothing out of the ordinary there. We need to get Max out of here. So... String. Unfortunately, oh, we can't... Hand. It's a little di Oh, shit. Long distance grabby hand. I forgot something. Did you? I did. Can I even go back? Yeah, just leave him back there. He's fine. Get me the hell out of here! Oh, crap. Oh, no, okay, I can. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, I got I, I got to get an item to get him out. <laughs> well, looks like I'm fucking out of here. Sucks to be you, Max. Well, I got to go to the world of fish. Oh. I forgot to take this bucket. He's alive. Oh, good. He is alive. boop -a I thought for sure he was dead. Okay. And back I go halfway across the country. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta make a pitch stop. Mm. I'll be back in eight days. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah, you get around quick in this like game. a 20-hour drive. Yeah, it really gave me, um... A false sense of how quickly you can get around when I was a kid. It's like, heck yeah, we can go to California. Well, These it's also funny because you were looking through the viewfinder and the the, the oh barn yeah, you, ball, you can see everything. And you can see the fish place, but like that's it's in Minnesota, halfway across the country. <laughs> All right, so I got to swap out the golf balls with the bucket of fish. <laughs> and then what is this fucking Indiana Jones? You better believe it. And now... Swing, baby! Alright. Oh. What? Boom. It'll he's make sense in a second. He's going to dunk the beast. Four! Oh, the gator! Yes. And then you line up the gators. Correct. So you can jump on the gators. That's right. It takes a little time, though. To get it right, um, so this will be a second. Just Whoops. Turn that fucker around. Oh, okay, there, that'll do. Um, you gotta turn that fucker around. Oh, I'm like a fucking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> gotta hit the fish in the water so the gator can eat the fucking fish. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Ooh, That's a good wow. one. Okay. Now this guy. Maybe here? This took me forever when I was a kid, but now I've got the got the gist. Well, it's so like strange how yeah, they move. Yeah, it doesn't exactly land where you think it will and And then the fucking guy that turns around. Oh, oh fuck. I I I I I <laughs> Oh, I like the sleepy gators. I didn't even notice them. Yeah, they're they're peaceful. This place is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> nah, gators are dope. Oh, they're dope. They just chill. They're just also dangerous. Son of a what bitch. What the fuck? All right, I'll try over here. 
does it correspond? Does it always go to the same spot when you? Like, it, is it always going to be on the tip of his tail like that when he ends up? That's a que that's a good question. I ha oh, oh, oh there you go. all right. Oh, let's go. <laughs> As the gamers say, LFG, dog. See, they don't they don't put uh, they don't use real go anymore, so you have to say LFG. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm learning. <laughs> Like stupid, everybody knows that. <laughs> Man, I love fish golfing. Legally, you can't say let's fucking go anymore. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, look at that. Here you go. Hey, you've made a path across the driving range. So I did. <laughs> Put the <laughs> Boom, baby. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking die. Jeez, that certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. <laughs> Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? <laughs> they have a rapport. He dumped the I'm beast. drowning. <laughs> hey, knock it off! All right. Let's open this puppy up. I'm a rabbit? Oh. See ya. Hey, Sam! Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur and mange in the booth while I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there in that horrible booth. Waiting. <laughs> Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. I, I better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. <laughs> All right, cool. Now we have two hunks of Sasquatch fur. And this little door opened. Yeah, I was going to say, can you access that? We sure can. Unk the beast. Oh, look at that. Unk the east. <laughs> <laughs> what are those yeah. boys doing <laughs> over there? <laughs> Let's see what this is. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Gullwump, Washington. Oh, yeah. Famous Gullwump, Washington. Ah, the Mystery Vortex. We cool. can go there now. Let me see. Take a look. Too bad it's empty, or we could shake it. Like this? <laughs> nice. <laughs> the picture shake. Yeah. yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shuvol the Mole Man. <gasps> Hey, maybe Shuvol's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Cool. I believe that's the uncle of, uh, the Doug. Yeah. Yes. Who we met in the Tunnel of Love. He mentioned him. He said he did stuff. I don't remember what he did. That he did, my friend. He was like, he does stuff. And I was like, oh, he does stuff. And then I forgot <laughs> what he did. All right. Hey, can I get some of that dip? He just wanders off. I love how Max is basically hyperactive. <laughs> he just never stops moving around. Dope -a -dope -a -dope. All right. Let's go back to the ball of twine. Oh. Because there's something we need to get there. Now it's time to go to the museum. Is it twine? <laughs> mm. Twine. I would like some twine, please. Sweet, sweet twine. Normally you wouldn't know to do this bef this early, but I remember, and it'll save us time. Mm. A good border. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what have I seen? He looks like my eighth grade English teacher, but with more warmth. <laughs> do you work here? Yep, been, have been for 40 years, so how can I help you? Stop staring at me. I can't help it. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. They've got one of these too, but half of it's French. <laughs> nice. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the Ball of Twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell you. No! <laughs> I've heard enough stories today. 
Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all these fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant is Fresh Fish Flood in the world of fish of Mosquitoville, Missouri. This is a bad choice of voice. <laughs> it's not fast enough. That's not me clicking through. The text just moves quickly. Yeah. Has Conroy Bumpers passed through here? Who's that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. Shocking. This ball is really made, isn't made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep. It's the longest piece of twine in the world, or 92 yards. Good thing we only took 91 yards. What's that? He said, wood things come in jars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That'll be all for now. Fuck you. <laughs> Great. All right, so here's where shit gets weird. I've peed three times since you've been talking to me. It's Jesse James' severed hand, and it's yeah. still twitching. And it's a broken half golf ball retrieval. Uh -huh. Retriever. You gotta combine them? And it's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. Mm-hmm. So we take the golf thing, connect it to the severed hand. Mm-hmm. It's a broken golf ball retriever with a severed hand attached to it. Okay. Now it's a severed It's a hand. broken golf ball retriever with a magnet attached to it. Boom, baby. And now... Okay, so where'd the hand go? It, it, the hand is holding the magnet. Oh. And we jab it into the giant ball of twine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and there's the mood ring we're gonna need. Oh. I love that there's pizza and a grenade in there. <laughs> that was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. All right. Just saving us a little time for later. Yeah. Stinks. It's a one two hundred thousandth scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousandth as stupid as the actual ball of twine. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. Oh, Max. <laughs> Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize by 2053 the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit. Jeez. Propelling our planet on a collision course with the sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. <laughs> I'm an optimist. <laughs> All right, let's roll. <laughs> yeah, he he's always just mumbling to himself. All right. It's time to head to the mystery vortex, my friend. Ooh. In Washington. Yeah. The mystery spot is like in like Nevada, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what this is referring to. Oh. It's a mystery spot. Sam, this place is making my head ping. It's probably just a metal plate in your head. Oh, uh, bing! <laughs> I gotta look that up. It's the mystery vortex. <laughs> good lord, it's a possessed outhouse. I had to take your... Uh, good, good lord, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> this kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! It's you. Santa Cruz, California. Oh. I think they're controlled by a series of really... Well, okay. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. I know. Let's watch it again. Oh, I wonder if these things spin in the other direction in Australia. Oh. oh, okay. I guess we lost it. It's a gravitational anomaly located in the Redwoods outside of Santa Cruz, California. Say what? That's real? Yeah. Hold on. That's wild. What's the, what's the deal? Gravity just works differently? We're in the mystery vortex, baby. It's like a bunch of photo opportunities that are strange. Oh, okay, cool. Well, now we're in this like Salvador Dali-esque world. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like. Cool. <laughs> oh, whoa, Max is getting real small. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> An abyss reference. Oh. 
That's a mirror. <laughs> Whoa! It's Max. Hello. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, let's use the mirror. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. It's like the Matrix. I told you this place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Lucky guess. All right. So if I remember this correctly, let's see. Don't it's a big it. magnet. That's a big fucking magnet. It's a big magnet. You can say that again. It's a lever. No way. All right. Now. Whoop. Tug it. Hmm. Do you have to reverse the polarity? Let's try red. I believe, because the way you keep changing size doesn't allow you to go into any of the doors. Oh. And I think whatever color this magnet room is, is the color of the door that you can go into because your size will be appropriate. Like, if I try to go to this white door, I get too small. Oh. Way too small. Where's the red door? And oh. can I paint it black? There's a- <laughs> nice. Let's see if there's a red door. There is a blue door, so maybe it's the blue magnet. I think this- oh, oh there nope, there's a red door. This changes every time you play the game. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um... Really? Yeah. That's crazy. It's a forest of shoe trees! I'm afraid, Sam, let's get out of here! Okay. Well, I'm not afraid anymore. So yeah, I guess I do need to switch it to blue. <laughs> God, what a trippy game. There's nobody else in here too. I, the Mystery Vortex can- well, there's only so many people that can handle it. <laughs> okay. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Red, green, blue, blue. Let's try blue. That's pleasing to me. Oh, yeah, very blue. My favorite color. I do like a blue. I did, it's just, I don't know. This is a completely unusual thing. Oh, I need to leave, sorry. <laughs> Fucking. I'll just stay here. No, Max. Join me, won't you? <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now? <laughs> I'm coming! Nice, no, jeez. I'm becoming a ball of intellect. Let's hightail it out of here before we lose our corporeal bodies forever. Wow. I've been saying our non-corporeal forms for decades. I guess it's from this game. Wow. I did not put that together. All right, jeez. I feel like that was a thing to say back then. I, yeah, th I've, I've seen it too, but it I've is very this. like early '90s kind of like weird person humor. Non-corporeal form. So if you turn on both of them, is it purple? I don't know. Maybe, but there's purple. no purple door. Maybe it's yellow. There was a yellow door. I don't get it. <laughs> hmm. It's like pink. There's only yellow and white. All right, let's see. Maybe this is white. Let's try the white door. There's a white door? Oh, at the bottom right. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nope. Getting too small. Oh, boy. That's Dang it. real small. Okay, let's try this one over here. Maybe you can go upstairs now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those stairs are too dollyish. I'd never fit through it. Dang. I don't know what to do. Maybe, maybe white is both magnets off. Oh, word. That's all I can think of. Yeah, there's a. I think there's. Oh, I was gonna say there's a duck flying outside, but it's a fish. That's a symptom of ADHD. What's that? Just hearing sounds and repeating the sounds. Is that right? Yeah, me and 
Jacksepticeye both do it all the we're in the same room together. We like do it together all the time. That's very interesting. <laughs> just hear like a car beep outside and just be like, Meep. Oh, there's multiple things. You fucking freak. Oh, boom. Okay. And all of them on is probably white. Oh, you're so smart, Aaron. Gosh dang, this game. All right. Yellow door. Let's try this one. I see a yellow door and want to paint it medically. I never fit through. What oh. the fuck? All right. What the fuck? <laughs> maybe it's that one in red. Oh, maybe it's orange. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. Oh! What the fuck you do? You understand about color theory, dog? I don't. Well, I guess that is orange. Lights oh. combined. It just felt so yellow. To create another spectrum of colors. It just man. felt yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's kind of green. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Check up. Oh, that's that's orangey looking. That yeah, is a little more orangey. Okay. For the love of Pete. For the love of my mom. Which I do. <laughs> I love my mom. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Shrink. Shrink, Sam. I've got a oh, yep. That's looking good. I've got a stinky winky. <laughs> nice. And I can't wait to use it. Oh. I'm coming. Please. Come on, Max. Wait, Shake please. a leg. For fuck's sake, wait. Yes? Yeah! Oh, is this his uncle? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're overachievers. That's cool, man. I'm Shavu. What do you want with me? Hey, Sam, look! Well, this bottled water is a real letdown. <laughs> oh. We need your help. Help is my middle name. Or maybe it's Star Child. <laughs> what do you know about Bruno? Um, Bruno the Bigfoot? Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a big kinship with Bigfoot. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. Shh! I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to comically link myself to him. If you must. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting something. I see Frog Rock between the inexplicable Valley of Lights and Mount Madrick. Uh. Wait, man! Bruno's in trouble! It's like several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silenced. Several. Sorry, guys, but I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mind ring in the biggest Moon ball ring. of twine. If you ever find it for me, maybe I can help you. Well, it just so happens that I remember this part, and I did it in advance. And there it is. It took him a long time to say that one sentence. Yeah. Here's your fucking mood ring. Is this your ring? Cool, babe. <laughs> Have you found Frog Rock yet? Nope. <laughs> but I don't see how finding it is going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some staple samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Come if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait! You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. It's not crushed. <laughs> Here, I'll get you some. Oh my god, I love him. That stuff I sprinkled on you earlier? Here you go. Sprinkle <laughs> this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur and you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Fuck if I know, man. Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. All right. I'm assuming you don't have to go through the white door now. No, no, you just have to go through all the doors till you find Shavul. Oh, Shovel. Because he digs like a mole. He's a fucking mole, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. I get it for the first time in 30 years. Whoa. Oh, God. 
Yipes. Gravity's taken a holiday and lost his luggage. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw down. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we just need to grab this hunk of Bigfoot fur. It's another tuft of Sasquatch hair and mange. My rabbity senses tell me that this is not Bruno's hair and mange. Or maybe I'm in love. <laughs> Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. <laughs> Hello. Stuff gib to a wonk I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Try cutting down on cholesterol. Are you feeling as mentally as unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a Bigfoot in there, that block of ice over there. Yesterday I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and when I got back he was gone. Spine recompression? Cool. <laughs> Do you know who Conroy Bumpers is? Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. And then he got sick and had to leave. This place seems to have that effect on people. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Okay. S snow globe stoppers? Yes. See, do you remember how there was like a an open section in the bottom of the snow globe? Oh, all the water came out or whatever. Well, what we need to do is capture some of the mystery vortex in the snow globe, but we can't do it because it'll just leak out again. <laughs> so we're going to have to come back later. Sure. We'll be back. Back front, it's all the same to me. All right. Excuse me, Sam. I mean, Max. I'm Sam. I will never get out of your way. I'm always... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the umbrella stand that's making the quacking. Oh. Because it had a little duck head on the end of it. A little it. duck head on the end of it. That's good. <laughs> nah, I'm into it. Oh, eight ball. Let me just take a look at. So you get an eight ball. All right then. <laughs> Not just an eight, eight ball. ball. <laughs> Sam, please. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Boy, the mystery vortex is. Maybe one of the weirdest parts of an already weird game. It's a fucking eclipse. Yeah, it's a constantly under solar eclipse. All right, so we need to go back to the biggest ball of twine. Two seconds. <laughs> here we are in Missouri. Yeah. No, Minnesota. We gotta get to Minnesota for, and we're here. I can't wait. I can't remember where the twine is. The twine. Yeah. It's it, probably in the big ball of twine. No, 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 but like wh where this location is. The, the fish place is Missouri. Oh, um, it looked like like Chicago or something. I said Minnesota because of the Weird Al song. The biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Which is a great, great song. Here we go. So I need to find Frog Rock. But I can see it from the binoculars that are in this restaurant. Oh. Of course, the binoculars do not work, which is why I need to grab these puppies. A completely unusable thingamabob. And jam them onto the binocular. What the fuck? Now it functions. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ow. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay. And, and this one I did not get for a long time when I was a kid. You need to use the fish bowl and attach it so you can see, it magnifies everything and you can see better. 
Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. Did that make sense? Yeah. Great. Let's save. That makes the most sense of anything, really. <laughs> All right. Go for it. Uh, I see, you see, we all see, and I've got to pee. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks. All right. Now, this might take a minute because to use these binoculars, it's different on every emulator. Uh, what? Like, remember how I couldn't slow it down? Yeah. Oh, 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 now I can do it. Okay. Sweet. It's a rock. Mount Bad Rich. <laughs> Instead of Good Rich. It's a flaming pile of tires. I don't know what Good Rich is. It's a tire company. Oh. Uh... Mm, it's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. It must be Frog Rock. Oh. Nice. Hey. There it is. Let's just take a little peek. Oh. It's the inexplicable Valley of Lights. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a hard rock. Whoa. That's the enchanted Argyle Forest. Look <laughs> uh, uh. at that music, it's so smooth. Oh. Why, it's the eternal plain of acid rain. <laughs> Boy, acid rain was really an early 90s thing. Yeah. I feel like you don't hear about it anymore. Well, because they mostly solved it. Is that right? Yeah. It's a rock. All right, we got what we needed. We know where the frog rock is. Hmm, the largest stump in the world. Yeah, it's amazing when you put like government ordinances on stuff that's solving helps the a problem. It yeah. works. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, cool. We've seen it all. I think I see frog rock. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I, I mean, that's pretty much Max's personality. Okay. Look at Chug's a monster energy drink. All right. Let's fucking go! <laughs> First to a thousand subs gets to suck my dick! All right, take it easy, Aaron. <laughs> Just gotta take the, sh the, the tram, baby. Nobody operates it. No, it just kind of goes by feel. <laughs> it kind of just works off your vibe. <laughs> this is a this is a, a vibe powered tram. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta come in and listen to some David Bowie and smoke <laughs> mad weed. <laughs> My kind of tram. All right, Frog Rock. Here we go. Oh. There it is. <laughs> you saw that from the magnifying glass? This doesn't look like a frog at all. My innocence has been shattered by this blatant tourist trap. I want my money back. We didn't pay anything. Well, somebody better give me some money. <laughs> okay. Well. You like smash it open or something? No, no. Uh, the mole man told us we needed to put three pieces of. Oh, that's right. Oh. You only have two. Did I not? Oh. Gee whiz! You fucking dope! I forgot to grab the actual hair from the from the mystery vortex. Sorry, everyone. Bum -tum -ti -tum. <laughs> Such a fucking idiot. I have no idea if this is. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I failed you all. And I'm like, oh, you gotta go back to the mystery vortex? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess well, once you sort of know what you're doing, this game kind of flies by. But when I was a kid, I was so confused and just took weeks and weeks of fumbling about. Yeah, I forgot to actually grab the. The chunk of hair that's here. Eat it. Boop. Okay, into the box it goes. Bye. <laughs> Where are you going with all that hair? <laughs> you didn't want it. Why don't you back that shit up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a, it's like floating. Yeah, I you walk underneath that. the puddle. I was like, why is that effect happening? This actually was the first place I'd ever seen the Salvador Dali clocks. Oh wow! And then when I 
saw the actual paintings, I was like, man, he fucking ripped off Sam and Max. <laughs> Yo, he must have been a huge LucasArts fan. <laughs> Dolly. The persistence of time, more like the persistence of crime. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now, we must place the Bigfoot pieces onto the rock. Uno. That's gross, Sam. Perfect. One down. Second chunky one. Why does he gotta jump on top when you do it? I don't know. I think just because it's a big deal. To show you you've done something right. Yeah. I guess. Because in this game, like, you really didn't know. Put that shit on. <laughs> Smear it, goddamn you. That's fucking gross. All right. And now, to apply the magical Mole Man powder. <laughs> it's not crust. <laughs> Whoa. Well? Wait for it. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Sure gets dark quickly around here. I don't think this is a natural occurrence, Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? Oh, hello. <laughs> We've got aliens. Erk yib yib dug, yib yib erk yib shuvol yib. They fly now? <laughs> they, they fly, fly now! now. to bump his bill. <laughs> this means something, Sam. All right, Bumpusville. Kind of like Graceland. I was doing a Magic the Gathering draft the other day, and there was a card that, you know, when you equip it, it gives them flying. Mm -hmm. Every time it happened, <laughs> I was like, it flies now? Of course. It flies now. <laughs> Here we go. Going to Graceland. Yeah. Bumpusville. It's a Conroy world after all. If we ever get this rich and famous, I want you to shoot me, Sam. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> I love their friendship. I love them. I love us. Yeah, I, uh, there's just something. A wishing well. I wish I had absolute power to decide who lives and who dies. I think we need a bigger well. It's customary to throw money into these things. Oh. Hey Dan, you ever hear you ever hear the story about the three holes in the ground? I have not, Aaron. Would you like to tell me real quick? Well, well, well. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this game were over. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it! Get back here. You can't take back your wish. We're dealing with a very literal well here. I wish I knew what Max was thinking. <laughs> well, that was a waste of money. <laughs> nah, this thing's malfunctioning. Okay, cool. I love like the 90s. You know, oh, yeah. Honky tonk. Very, very of its time. Oh, hey, baby. Yeah. That's our guy. Oh. Did you make him, like, Australian? Cripes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Max, take a look at this. It's titled Me, Myself, and I. Hey, you learned how to read. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. It's like the gold record for Bumpus's Heaven's Just Like Texas, except there's no taxes. <laughs> no property tax. It's the platinum record Bumpus got for Let's Drink Beer and Shoot Things. It's a gold record for a Conroy breakthrough hit, two-fisted, beer-drinking, gun-toting, hard-loving, fast-driving, country-western Liverpudlian. Oh. Country's, Conroy's first eight-track tape, flushed down the toilet of love. What's this? Bumpers got this gold record for daddy's two-stepping in his two-foot grave. <laughs> 
It's hard to believe that he sold a million of tobacco spit blues. He's got a robot butler. He does. It's a macro hard maintenance droid. Bye. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. Let's see where he goes. I'm gonna walk over here now. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, it's Monster Truck Weekend! Happening every Sunday! 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 <laughs> okay, I'm over the shock now. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. Wow, happening every Sunday. Just like Long Series Sunday. <gasps> wow. I like that the, <laughs> the license plate is Matruck. <laughs> Matruck. It's Max. Oh. Yep. That's what I call the truck. Ooh. Oh. All right. I'm up here now. <laughs> it looks like an official macro hard maintenance droid manual. If I had the slightest inclination to strain myself, I could probably reach it. However, I'm sure I can drag this out into a longer yet more satisfying experience. <laughs> you know what that means. Gotta use an item. You gotta use the thing. So let's just put the money back and grab... Grab a little grabby hand. Yeah. The Jesse James's severed hand. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. I love his little dog head when he, like, <laughs> when, the hat's co <laughs> when the hat's covering his face. Ow. <laughs> Help me. Oops. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fifteen hours later. <laughs> all right, I've read it all. <laughs> Find out all you need to know? Maybe. I got a little lost in the troubleshooting chapter. All right, sweet. I've got the book now. I just... See Are you gonna reprogram is? the? You better believe I am, Aaron. The robot, the robot. You know it. Oop. What's a robot? Oh, I forgot to look at what it was. It's a pillow, and ew, it's got Miracle Grow hair tonic all over it. <laughs> all right, cool. Probably gonna need that to grow some hair. You better believe it. Let's <laughs> take a look at what's down here. Is that a helmet? Still it's one of Conroy's toupees. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what in the name of Jethro Clampett is going on in here? I forgot. Hey. It. Is it? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off. Eek. This guy's always kicking our asses. And stay out. You fucking wankers. <laughs> I don't think that was the best way to get the two pace, Sam. All right. Let's go right back in. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. Not to be deterred. Oops. Got it. I will not be deterred. I'll follow you wherever you go. Let's see what's in here. You beautiful man. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Don't I know you? I don't know. Were you ever in the Pensacola camp for problem children? No. Well, that's where I spent most of the last ten years. I don't know how we could have met. Well then. You sure are one of the one dedicated employee. Yep, that's me. Detonated. Well, well, we'll just be looking around ourselves. Don't get up. Fine. So, what's this Conroy Bumpus Yahoo really like? Has he got any do deep dark secrets we can exploit for monetary gain? Hey, don't be casting no aspirations toward whatever. <laughs> he busted me out of the youth camp, gave me his high paying blah, <laughs> taught me how to speak so he leave out of bamboos half of my sister's trampoline operation, and he sings real pretty too. I think he was saying he pays him like $4 an hour. Yeah. How can you stand to work for someone who could persecutes harmless beasts like Bruno the Bigfoot. Uh, on my feet. He's got you there, Sam. Well then. Don't you have any misgivings about hunting harmless freaks like Trixie? Oh, I did, but then I took a couple of aspirins. Well then. 
So what's all this virtual reality equipment for? The way I understand it, Mr. Bumpus uses a sophisticated virtual reality scenario to interface with the mansion security system. The devil, you say? The devil, the devil. <laughs> yep. Sometimes Mr. Bumpus lets me use the equipment and I pretend I'm over a hundred feet tall and everyone else is like ants. And I just squish and squish <laughs> and squish and squish and... We get the picture. <laughs> Alright. Ah, skip it. I'm reading Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> hey. hey. Oh, sorry, that's you. Visitor ain't allowed to use Mr. Bumpus' state-of-the-art virtual reality equipment. Scram. Well... All right, we're gonna have to it's funny do a little something. VR is like way cleaner than that now. I know it's it is funny. That was ninety three virtual like, reality. That was like the future back then. Now the future is now. It, yeah, is the future. This is thirty years ago. The future. Don't go Th in there. Thirty. Ah, <laughs> no. There we go. No, not use Max. <laughs> I'll do something. There we go. Now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. Where's he going? I'm impressed. That's nothing. Watch this. Whoop. Whoop. Help me, Sam and Max. <laughs> You're my only hope. Oops. That was gratuitous. <laughs> Sorry. This might be more... <laughs> this might be more useful. Oh. This is also from a time when, like, Star Wars was not as parodied and famous as it is now. Oddly enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was still huge, but it, Star Wars was, like, mostly for nerds a little bit back then. Mm -hmm. Now it's hugely, um... Oh. There we go. Uh... Now it's everywhere. So does that mean it'll like clean every room now? No, I think now every place is clear of security. Oh. I don't think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. There he goes. I'm ripe with anticipation. I thought I smelled something. <laughs> oh, there's Trixie and Bigfoot, but he passed the laser line. Oh, okay, I told it to clean the off-limits room. How Pavlovian. <laughs> and you should know. All right. So he set off the alarm, and now I can go use that virtual reality equipment. Oh. While that jerk is gone. For what? It's tapped into the security system. Oh, that's right. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm really there. God. <laughs> Is this virtual reality? I may be sick. <laughs> Yonder lies the castle of my father, the king. <laughs> it's a cheesily polygon sword. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is fucking good. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Got him! Take it. Take it! It's a chunky hovering dragon's heart. Just like the one I have at home. Good for you, man. Oh, nice. okay. <laughs> That's how VR works. There we go. Well? I am the key master. Does that come with a dental plan? I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here. Now. Righty-roo. Now let's go cause some mischief. Mayhem. And other things of the sort. Just casually strolling. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ah. A raccoon. This is Conroy's first guitar. It says here that he practiced diligently for two weeks, then gave it up and hired a backup band. 
That story warms the cockles of my heart. So do car crashes. <laughs> Cripes, look at all the trophies. I think this bumpus goon is overcompensating for his lack of stature, Sam. And besides, I've got a lot more trophies than he does. <laughs> Looks that look, they're paintings of trophies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. It's Max. That's his father. It's a portrait of John Muir. Okay. Say, say Sam, just who is John Muir? Who's John Muir? <laughs> hey guys, this dope doesn't know who John Muir is. <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding! What a maroon. <laughs> what an income poop. Sam, the dead animal heads are talking to me. Where? Up there. Well. But. You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. <laughs> but. Stop bugging me. I'm admiring this portrait of John Muir. But who's John Muir? Do you really want to know? <laughs> if you'll stop ass talking, sure. Okay, hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. A naturalist, noble, and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the leasties. Has never been equaled. Edutainment. Uh-huh. For sure. For sure. Well. A stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. I guess he's an actual guy. <laughs> oh. Well, in any case, I stole his painting. Just take it. <laughs> what a fucking weird bit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Stop telling fibs about talking animals. <laughs> <laughs> Dead animals. Bumpusville is proud to present the king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. Woo-hoo! Woo! Woo! I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton. Oh, he's wow, we got the Yeah, he got the voice. dear old dad would bounce me on his knee. He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting. As exposing beasts to inhumanity. That's why I'm. <laughs> I'm oh. The king of the oh yeah. I guess he's not. He's not country western. He's like from England or something. <laughs> Wow. He stole Bigfoot, Bruno, and Trixie so they could be his backup band. Wow. What a dick. Look at Max <laughs> just watching with his insane expression. <laughs> He's pretty good, Sam. <laughs> I just love him. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the tiki room. <laughs> I like that Pinocchio's up there. <laughs> oh, oh, that motherfucker been telling lies. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Well then. <laughs> Just fucking bails. Your attention please, Conroy Bumpus has left the building! Well... Um... Well, maybe we should figure this out next time on Game Grumps. It's Bruno and Trixie! Oh crap, yeah! Jeez, man, the time really flies on this game. I know. Okay, uh, we found them! And, uh, we'll see what happens next time on Game Grumps. Fuck yeah, dog. Alright, see you next week. Bye gamers. For Long Series Sunday. Oh, are you kidding? I think about it almost every day. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs>